doctor I am not and can never become. I am only a businessman and a Royal Prussian artillerist. Military drills and work in the office of a trading company. No college entrance exam, no higher education. Nevertheless, Friedrich Engels becomes well known for his critical writings. An autodidact with extraordinary talent. Eighteen thirty eight, young Friedrich Engels arrives in Bremen. In the old Hanseatic town, he is to begin a commercial apprenticeship according to his father's dictates. In the office of a trading company, he learns the basics of commercial enterprise. This also involves detailed knowledge of the export business and currency trading. But his true interest lies in the new literature in the Bremen bookshops. In the cosmopolitan Hanseatic town, he comes into contact with fresh, liberal ideas. He is attracted by the authors of the Young Germany and himself begins to write. When 18, 19 years old, when you're 18, 19 years old and suddenly discover that you can write, that you can actually achieve something with writing. And Georg von Cotta, Germany's major newspaper publisher, writes, Dear Mr. Engels, we need not even discuss fees, for he already earns the maximum. Cotta, obviously, didn't know Engels' true age. During the day, he toys with numbers, in the evening, with words. As Bremer correspondent, he writes for newspapers and magazines, among them the Stuttgart Morning Paper, contributing numerous articles on politics and culture, most under the pseudonym Friedrich Oswald. His series, Letters from Wuppertal, in the Telegraph for Deutschland, creates a furore. In the anonymous articles, Engels sharply criticize pietism and the social conditions of his hometown of Barmen. One so young realizes the power of the quill. The letters from Wuppertal are partly a distress call, but also part caricature, in which he definitely paints certain things more blackly than they are. But from the caricature, his literary medium, it is clear what he is trying to say. It's a brilliant description of the conditions that prevail at the time. The lower classes suffer terrible privation, especially the factory workers in the Wupper Valley. In Elberfeld alone, 1,200 school-aged children are deprived of education, growing up in the factories. The rich factory owners have a clear conscience. Letting a child degenerate does not automatically banish a pietist's soul to hell as long as its owner attends church twice on Sundays. A bitter indictment which creates turmoil far beyond the family circle in Barmen. The Biedermeier world is shaken. The local newspaper rants against Engels Jr. With a sardonic slant, he describes such reactions in a letter to a friend. You can imagine the scene in Barmen. I just got a letter telling me that the article is creating an uproar in Elberfeld. The people either pity poor Mrs. Engels because of her son, or look on with a smirk and rub their hands in glee. For Engels, a complete success and further incentive to continue writing. Even while he works in the office, he secretly pens manuscripts for the newspapers. 1841. He leaves Bremen for Berlin.
in the Prussian capital, he volunteers to do a year of military service. In a letter to his sister, making fun of it, he writes, Here you see me in uniform, how I drape my coat so picturesquely, contrary to military regulations. If I were to cross the street like this, I'd be every moment in danger of getting arrested. You see how dangerous it is to be a soldier, even in peacetime. Drilling on the boulevard Unter den Linden in Berlin. But Friedrich Engels has an ulterior motive. Shortly before he had written, just seeing a Prussian eagle makes me feel sick. What made him join? Quite simple. He knows that if he serves as a volunteer, he has access to every university. Berlin's Humboldt University is Engels' true goal. He attends lectures on philosophy, meets with fellow students, and seeks intellectual exchange. Yet this time of contentment will soon be over. His next station in life, England. In Manchester, as his father wills, he is to continue his commercial apprenticeship in his father's cotton mill. <laughs> 